Yo, Twitch chat. What is up, ye pal, sir? Hawk, Shadow, and Vesely. How's it going? Happy Tuesday. What is up? Your car just got flooded. Oh no, how did that happen? Ow! <laughs> my, my phone just got broken. Uh, how did that happen? Hey, Richard. Hey, Soundless. What's up? Is Hearthstone down? I don't know. I haven't tried it. Only planning to do uh, snap today. I got a couple hours. Wanted to get a quick snap stream in for the new, the new card. Uh, let's see how it goes. Sir C. Wally, grats to Vesley. Thanks, Sir C, for the gifted sub, dude. That's amazing. Uh, nothing like losing the ego, man. I haven't had an ego deck in a, or a game in a while. I gotta say. Uh, Dazzler Zoo is that what we're gonna make? I don't know. We're gonna make a Dazzler deck today. I guess I'll call it a zoo deck. I don't know. I I have kind of a rough idea of what I want to do, but not exactly what I want to do. Um, so we. We want to make a Dazzler deck. I got Dazzler, new card, four drop. If you guys haven't seen Dazzler just yet. Ongoing, if you have four cards in each location, plus six power. So we need to be sure we're reliably filling up each location. Lots of delay. What do you mean? Lots of delay to, how, how would we? Oh, the audio is desynced? Oh. Uh, I can fix that, usually. Uh, did that finish it? Did that fix it? Do I sound normal now? Fixed, okay, cool. Sometimes I have to just go hit a little thing that makes the, the stream software... I have a I have a delay cooked into the about a one second delay cooked in. Sometimes it forgets about it and I have to go, hey, look, there's a delay. And I touch it and it goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Sir, oh, Sir Quali, not Sir C. Wally. I got you, Sir Quali. I'll try to remember, remind me if I mess it up again. Uh. Punch your computer. Yeah, that'll basically do it. So my, my thought was, right, let's, uh, the, the Dazzler filling up the, you know, we got to fill up locations. My thought was, let's go back to this. This is something we talked about last week. We wanted to do the whole time we had Shauna and it, it never really got there. Um, so I, I thought it might be nice to try this and uh, run that with perhaps Zabu since we've got so many fours, right? I kind of like this like Savage Lands. I know Dazzler's not Savage Lands character, but otherwise fits in fine. Dazzler ongoing if you have four cards in each location, plus six power. So she's a 410 if you fill up the board. So uh, there's also cards like Ant-Man and uh, uh, what's his name? Mojo that benefit from filling up the board, which seemed like good fits. These are kind of zoo decky type cards. Uh, are there any other, we could do like a squirrel girl maybe, there's Ultron, there's uh, any other four drops that go super wide on board, like Jubilee kinda, but maybe not so good in, a, in this sort of deck, right? Probably not a Jubilee. There's no other four drop that goes across the board. Let's make me a little hesitant about the Zabu. Like what other four would I be running in that case? Maybe a Jubilee is still fine, but hmm, I'm liking it less. Oh, we could maybe do Absorbing Man, because that's like a good Shauna replay, but we'd have to make sure we had another good target or two, because right now there's literally just, just Absorbing Man. Uh, Debris is a neat idea, yeah, Debris. Maybe, maybe Zabu is not right for this deck. Let's, let's think about that Zabu. I, 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 we have a lot of fours, so I kind of want it, right? But debris is a good idea. Uh, 
yeah do we want to do we want to go for like an ultron patriot line because that that's one angle you could go for this deck because because ultron's so good at filling up a board right i i was gonna try to maybe stay away from that but kazar is a natural fit for ultron uh patriot is not a great fit for shauna they don't necessarily go well together but there are some kind of cross synergies right so do we go for like blue marvel and kazar or do you go for patriot i, I think i like the one drop buff line better because we might want to put squirrel girl in here and then you know the our, our buffers hit everything as opposed to only hitting some things with patriot they're only hitting some things they're not hitting shauna cards etc so i think an ultron might still work here even without a, a, a kazar right just just get a good ultron i don't like this Hey, Sir Quali, dude. Thanks for the thousand bits, man. That's really nice. Have a great stream. Thank you, dude. You're dropping some love today. Sorry I got your name wrong. Appreciate the love, though. I will do my best. It's going to be a short stream today, unfortunately, but I wanted to get in and play the new card. Hopefully get a video out of it if we can. Um, Onslaught, I mean, there is, you know, if you build a lane with, like, Dazzler, Kazar, Blue Marvel, Onslaught's pretty cool, but... If you're spending all that energy on Onslaught, are you going to have any to fill up the board? Like, I, I feel like you'd have to hit a pretty perfect sequence of, like, Squirrel Girl, Debris, Shauna if you were planning to fill up the board with Onslaught. Like, U Ultron, you're spending a ton of energy, but that's what's filling up the board, right? That's pretty nice. A lot of you still think Zabu is right. Do, I mean, it's certainly not terrible. <laughs> with even just three it's still you know often gonna save you four energy probably i would love if there was one more fitting four drop though if i'm gonna run zabu is there any other i also think we want some more ones by the way maybe only two ones is not good enough could do like blade and strong guy but i think the curve's a little too high for blade and strong guy um Mbaku's kind of a neat idea to cover us in case we don't quite fill up a board. I kind of don't hate the idea of Mbaku. He's kind of neat in that regard. Mystique? I don't think we we can't we can't be spending too much energy per non board filling card. And I think like Mystique and Onslaught both spend energy without really filling the board. And Mystique Dazzler is really not even that good. It's like a 3-6. I, I mean, it's probably both better going on Kazar Blue Marvel, frankly, but but then we're not using that to fill the board. It makes me nervous. I think we have to fill the board. I kind of like the idea of M'Baku. What do you guys think? Is this crazy? Because, you know, if we draw M'Baku, okay, whatever. It's just a one. We just play it. You know, we're happy to just play a one. We would play like an Iceman or maybe a Sunspot instead normally. So we're giving up a little. Of course, Iceman and Sunspot are better. But if we don't, if we don't draw M'Baku, then he could be a lifesaver. It's weird, though, because also if the deck works, he will never have anywhere to go. So it's like how often... How often is he actually like is he gonna fail more than he than he works? How often are we gonna have exactly one? You know? I I guess that's a pretty pretty bad idea. It is kind of funny though to try to make a deck that excludes Mbaku. <laughs> like that's more of a meme almost. <laughs> Sorry, Mbaku. Get out of here, buddy. Maybe just Nightcrawler. I like this better with like Angela decks, but it's probably okay. Having flexibility could matter for things like Ultron, like creating a space for Ultron to slot in and fill up the Ultron lane and stuff. So maybe maybe one more four drop, guys. I don't know what still though. <sighs> Dracula won't make sense. Chantress, pretty risky for us. Jessica Jones, kind of okay, probably. 
I mean, I mean, Jubilee in theory, right, is fine. It's just that we're gonna hit, you know, Ant Man's and Nightcrawlers and Squirrel Girls and stuff, which I hate. Moon Girl. Um, I mean, in theory, yeah, Moon Girl's kind of a neat idea, like duplicating a bunch of Ant Man's and stuff. I don't hate that. Yeah, for two, for two energy, I mean, certainly we see Moon Girl in, in uh, Dark Hawk decks right now. That works fine. Uh, and you could probably technically even do this. Those I've seen so many of those decks get really close to filling up a filling up a board just organically with four drops off Zabu. I kind of like this. Debris feels a little out of left field at the moment to me because again, I just I wish it was a four. Like if we think Moon Girl can get there, we might be better off just running a better four. If if we think we don't need the debris to get the Dazzler active, basically. You could maybe do Sarah as well as Zabu and then have that crazy final turn. But without a moon girl in hand, I think you'd often run out of stuff. I think you'd run out of stuff. We talked about Absorbing Man, but the, the, the concern we had was not another good on reveal target. I, now that we've added Debris and Shauna, the, you, I could maybe see an Absorbing Man being good enough. There's also the Squirrel Girl. Hmm. Maybe you could cut an Ultron and add an Absorbing Man. Just because this is such a hefty card to play, it's so expensive. Surely between Debris, Shauna, and Squirrel Girl, Absorbing Man finds a target fairly reliably, right? I mean, even Moon Girl could technically be okay sometimes. My question here is, is are we going to have enough power output? Because, you know, it's, it's Kazar and Blue Marvel that are buffing all this little garbage. You've got power punctuated by Dazzler in one spot. That's going to be a powerful lane. Because Dazzler plus three ones. Ant-Man can get big. Mojo can get big. But pretty conditionally. I'm a little bit worried... This won't get big enough, but let's let's see how it feels. I'm I'm at least curious to see how it feels. Uh, let's update the deck here. Dazzler Zoo. Da Dazzler Zabu Zoo. Zabzu. I I I'm, I I think this should feel okay, honestly. You guys can't appear to hear the game, can you? Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Bet you can hear the game now. There it is. <laughs> yeah, our concern was we need to fill the board specifically, and Onslaught is six energy that only adds one spot for Dazzler. I'm worried that final turn we're gonna have to be adding stuff in play. Because we want, uh, you guys still can't hear the game? Oh, you can, right? You guys hear the game, right? Don't lie to me. Oh, <laughs> we got Ultron anyway, man. <laughs> That's perfect. So debris here, uh, we could just use this as a catch-all later, I guess. Next turn, Shauna into Marvel into Ultron. Um, that could all be in one spot as well, by the way. So we don't even really need the debris for that necessarily. Is the opponent gonna fill this up if they've got their own Ant-Man here? They're slightly more likely to fill this up because of the X-Mansion, but. So anyway, yeah, Shauna on four. Blue Marvel on five. Ultron on six. This is dandy. thinking about where i want to put this stuff maybe this is the place to surprise the opponent i don't know we're gonna yeah okay they added another card that's good news they're definitely thinking about filling their ant-man spot that's fine oh iron fist oh okay well that's gonna show the well no that doesn't work still right that doesn't work i, I will just put it here I, I i don't care if this one card's revealed so yeah we'll we'll see man we'll see i don't know 
Uh, Shauna here. Put one here. We can put Blue Marvel here as a surprise, and then Ultron here as a surprise. We are kind of wasting a lot of the Ultron in that case, but I think that's okay. Oh, zero, dude. Is zero's active too, right? Shoot. Zero is active, so the blue marvel is gonna get wrecked, isn't it? We did get an Ant Man though, which is pretty cool, and Hawkeye's not bad either. But this is Dark Dimensions. How does this work? Is it actually gonna hit the Mojo? Squirrel Kazar. Put the Kazar here, maybe, so the squirrel doesn't reveal. I think it's gonna hit the Mojo though, isn't it? Isn't that how that works? I think Mojo is gonna be the card that gets that gets silenced. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Not even sure Blue Marvel is better than uh, it buffs Mojo and Ultron itself, and that's all. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Trinity's thinks you have the hundred bits. Oh, squirrel right. Oh yeah, I do. I do like squirrel right just to get the silence out of the way. Yeah, I, it's probably worth it because the Kazar, like I said, is only only missing maybe two buffs. It's like I give up uh, two by playing Kazar instead of Blue Marvel. Whereas if I if I silence the Mojo, I potentially give up six. So yeah, that is probably more more net power. I think I do like squirrel right and then Kazar mid a little better. You kind of lose efficiency off the Ultron, but who cares? You're filling up anyway, so. All right, Colossus certainly doesn't matter. Uh, it's, we, let's double check our logic that Ultron's actually the best play. I, I, I think it is. It still shows him getting silenced, but so did the last guard, so. Uh, do we like Nightcrawler better there, or do we like 1-1 uh, one, one better there? Where does the one power go? There's more stuff here, so we'll, we'll leave Nightcrawler there. Shauna gets buff. Oh, Shauna gets buff too. So Blue Marvel's worth three over. Over uh, Kazar. I forgot about her. I don't know. Who knows, man? This is uh, it's a close game. I have no. What? Okay, I did not expect that. <laughs> okay. Uh, surely we're strong enough mid, right? Unfortunately, they did not fill for the, the mojo, but that's okay for us because we silenced it anyway. Surely that'll be 19, right? There's no way. This deck doesn't do 19. Warpath alone is not enough, right? Avengers! Oh, yeah. Assemble. Cool. Good win. Victory. Sneaky surprise Ultron stuff. Well, we definitely filled up the board very easily there. So. We'll see. We'll see. I've, currently, it feels like we have, a, but we did get some free a free unit or two. We'll, we'll see. We may be able to sacrifice some of our board filling options, basically. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> to bring... <laughs> I need to be winning the other two spots, and the opponent having played nothing though, I go for debris is the problem. Um. <laughs> we could scroll girl here and then if they don't play anything there's a chance we could win just win off two scroll girls that would be risky to things that buff you know there's a lot of downsides here but let's uh <laughs> let's go it dude let's do it and see include ultron we we had him in the list man you missed the deck building i'm, I'm sad you're giving a lot of thoughts that we've 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 ran through in detail I wish you'd been here five minutes earlier. Yeah, so cloak means the uh, debris plan does not work. Mindscape uh, could create some interesting issues. Blue Marvel left is definitely what we want to do. The, the question, I guess, is what am I playing next turn? Shauna occupies quite a bit of space. Shauna mid does leave three spots in Sinister, I guess. I don't know. Cloak bailed me out there, saving me some sinister space. Shauna Dazzler, holy pogarinos, that's some pool five value. Yes. 
I love having spent $500 on these two cards. They're great. <laughs> oh, how exciting. I mean, if we do this, I'm literally just passing turn six, right? Or are we better off just going Ant-Man? Could maybe do Shauna here so that we still have a, a flex spot. But I'm feeling like I'm going to want that to be Ant-Man a lot of the time. Is my opponent's card going to be better usually? And would I rather just have three blue marvels and two flex spots on the final turn? I think I'd rather have that, wouldn't I? Like Sean is too much of a limiter here. Let's just do it this way. See what we can find on six. Did you see a guy who has every variant in the game? I didn't see the guy, but I saw his screenshot. <laughs> I don't know what the what the person looks like, but I did see the I did see the screenshot, yeah. Pretty wild. Some unnamed Megalodon. Somebody did the math that said it would cost $11,000, which is actually less than I expected, to be honest. It's obviously an obscene amount of money, but it's I, I thought it was going to be more. I guess there aren't quite as many variants as I thought. I wonder how many people have bought every variant. Two? Surely it's not just one person, right? Surely there's there, maybe 10, who knows? It's kind of spicy. I mean, they're only getting Polaris there though, so that's pretty weak. Oh God, no, 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 oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot they're moving all of them. No, Polaris, you idiot. Never mind. That's amazing. I take it all back. Well, I'm screwed. GG. What, 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 what have you given me here? Why are you? Why are you giving me this garbage? Uh, Surfer hits nothing there. Hits two cards here, but we can't win there and here, can we? I gave them. What did I give them? Bunch of stuff that's enough to win, right? Just any kind of play here probably wins. We're only adding three power, so. Yeah, what a rude Polaris. Escaped. We'd revealed first, we would have been cool. Should have went for the debris, just a troll, man. All right, so we haven't really hit a Dazzler in a time frame that felt interesting yet. I have to say. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, okay. We don't have to play Dazzler. I mean, theoretically, if we hit the right stuff, we could still feel that, fill that, right? Well, Ultra, we don't have Ultron. No, we cut Ultron. Shauna, Absorbing Man, Squirrel Girl. And Debris. Still could fill it, though, so not impossible, just gonna be really hard i would need uh i don't know more than i got i'm i'm, I'm i gotta tell you though i'm i'm sort of feeling that there's this um oh that's a good start i'm sort of feeling that there's a little bit of a disconnect with this deck because what's happening is we're either getting uh, th there's kind of two halves to the deck i guess i'll say right we're We're either getting a big wide board side of the deck and no Dazzler or a Dazzler and no big wide board stuff. It, to me, it feels very split. That makes sense. I, I feel like we're not really getting everything that we need here. We can move a Nightcrawler over those. This was a great draw. Of course, debris and stuff also could fix that problem. Uh, I think double Kazar here is fine. It's only buffing two targets. Is a single blue marble better? I doubt it because we're getting a lot of power off the Kazars themselves. It seems like a location that'll be full for Mojo, but can we contest whatever's big that comes out of the lockjaw? I don't know. 
mean, debris here could have been good too to shut down Lockjaw, by the way. Oh, Captain Marvel, I cannot beat, so that's a problem. Squirrel Girl. The Squirrel Girl? Actually, no, this does beat Captain Marvel. Uh. Okay. I think in that case, we, we actually go Blue Marvel here to make this as big as possible, right? Because even if we lose left, we're going to get a squirrel that's going to be uh, a, a four power squirrel and a five power Nightcrawler's nine. So this should be fine. We'll just get big mid and win left. I don't think they're going to expect to lose left in particular, right? I hope. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, cool. Also, we're just big enough. I mean, I guess sometimes she couldn't move as well, right? Oh, even tied right. Wow. Just, actually insane power output. Moon Girl doing work, dude. Moon Girl Kazar times two is pretty cool. Hey, Dazzler upgrade, and I don't have any credits. Oh, hold up. Yes, I do. Just kidding. Just kidding. We got lots of credits. Dazzler, 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 Dazzler. You're blue. Hey, Grumpy or Goat, man. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, Nightcrawler on one is okay to play. I think there's no Angela here or anything to hold for, so we'll just get him down. Uh, Lechaguila. Ooh, hello, sir. Does not seem like Mojo is really going to activate this game, but we just want to get cards out, spend our energy efficiently here. Zabu hopefully goes right. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Dazzler, nice. Debris also pretty nice. Debris Absorbing Man, actually legit. If we can hit a... Um... Oh, this is a weird curve though. See, like, the, yeah, see the Absorbing Man's in a weird, weird place here. I don't know about this. Just got here, what does Dazzler do? She makes your dreams come true. Ongoing, if you have four cards at each location, plus six powers. She's a 410, or in this case, a 210. I might just tempo absorbing manning here because we're just gonna fill our energy too much anyway because I want to play blue marvel on five Uh, but then I don't really have a good debris either boy. See this is what we're uh. Oh, I guess I can do it now with nightcrawler too though and just <sighs> it Makes it really hard to get this dazzler active, but also aren't I just losing to infinite always? <laughs> I don't see how we beat that, so I don't know if it matters. Oh, interesting. Okay. Huh. All right. Well, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> Confirmed. Confirmed not worth it. Uh... This is never worth, right? It's just, I mean, we are losing this lane. We're never getting to 22. So in theory, wiping that out for 15 is a good trade, right? It is technically a trade up. I have to say. This, this is technically better. Do we want to lock up there or not draw a rock? I mean, even a rock with blue marvels, honestly, okay, isn't it? All right, let's do it. Destroyer's gonna save us. Just wipe out the brand new Dazzler we're so excited about. Get ready. Sorry, Dazzler, get out of here. You're dead to us. Uh, sadly, the Captain Marvel there blocked our rock. So, uh... Yeah, this doesn't look very good, does it, man? We're uh, we're definitely gonna win left. 
I mean, I could see them moving Blue Marvel out and playing like a Spectrum. Well, no, I don't know. This is a weird deck, right? What, uh, not Spectrum. I don't know. I was thinking Destroyer. That's my card. That's not from them. Uh, but certainly if they play anything fairly reasonably sized mid, they're going to win mid, right? We can add a little extra power here, but it seems, seems unlikely. Because Marvel is free to move mid, so they, they just need anything remotely medium sized to win. And, and certainly that is medium sized. They'll, they'll get it here. Rock right to send a message. Yeah, quite a message. It really, if the uh, if the Infinite hadn't landed off the lockjaw there, this game would have been a lot more interesting because I, I think we could have tried to contest right. Uh, Destroyer was a pretty bad roll for us too, though. In that case, it was hard to get any value out of the raft which we dug pretty deep to get. So how are we feeling about the deck right now, guys? I mean, it feels okay. It doesn't feel like terrible or anything. I don't really feel like I have a great cohesive game plan though. It definitely feels like we're a little bit uh, all over the place. I also, I, I don't know, man. I kind of like the Ultron backup plan. I, I feel like having the Ultron there to to fall back on is really, really good. Cause I feel like there's been a few times where it's just been kind of touch and go about having it to be having it, having it full. What's the rationale behind moon girl? Uh, she copies our cards. <laughs> Sorry. It's really hard not to do the smart aleck answer sometimes. Uh, the rationale is we need four drops to reward Zabu and in particular duplicating really cheap four drops and cheap one drops allows us to fill the fill the curve well and uh, get extra stuff to play because if you're playing a lot of stuff really fast you're gonna run out of cards right but moon girl can help prevent that a little bit I'm not sure that's actually useful we're just trying it but that's the rationale I'm glad you phrased it that way instead of saying moon girl is stupid <laughs> that's what i really hate <laughs> but i still gave you a smart aleck answer <laughs> oh what a jerk i am <clears throat> um okay Trying to think here how we how we win games. <laughs> really big interesting question there. How do we win games? Limbo. Limbo is fine. We uh we will definitely Fill the board by the time Limbo is, is done. No doubt about that. Have they indicated how many series of cards there will be? I, I think it's five. Plus the what they're calling the big bads, which is uh, Thanos and Galactus, and maybe more in the future, they said. Although nothing planned, I think, was the wording. So two Dazzlers is pretty nice, actually. That's really big. Two Debris I'm probably less excited about. Although we could try to start locking up our opponent's stuff. I don't know. Two Dazzlers is big, though. Oh, that is very early. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> oh, they got it back, though. Of course, it's locked, John. No. No, they're gonna get it back. Um, I guess the double debris though here might help us uh, <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice. They might help us stop that a little bit. <laughs> sound like a Double debris We're not gonna need the double ultrons this game. I don't think I'd rather play the debris because it's asymmetrically advantaged in my favor that's only true if they don't fill their board up. Uh, man, my, this is probably my internet. I've been having, oh yeah, it is. I've been having really spotty internet the last two days. I actually meant to reboot everything before I started the stream, but I forgot. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's see if I can get back. Nope. Cool. And that was gonna be a really fun game. I'm so sad. Yep, internet died. Cool. Uh, this is just wonderful. <sighs> okay. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? We're in the game. We uh, we did miss a turn, maybe ish. I think. Uh. Okay. We got a chance. I'm back. You guys see me? I'm back. I missed a whole turn. I think I missed my turn five. I guess. Bonus board is full. We have free reign. Uh, bl blue marvel. Does not win the game. How much am I adding here? We're adding another uh, six and five is 11. I'm going to 34. I'm winning. He oh, but I'm winning. No, I'm not winning here. I'm, I'm tying here. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I, both the dazzlers are here. Surely that wins a tie. I'm adding another 12 and another. That's 15. So I'm going to be up five, uh, 17 plus, plus uh, this wins, this wins, this wins, this wins, this wins. We win the tie. Boom. Let's go. I even missed a large part of the turn. I think I skipped my entire turn five, if I recall, which kind of worked out because of the limbo anyway. Yes. Yeah, guys, I forgot. My internet's been really spotty I, the last day or two. I, I didn't reboot everything, and I needed to. I forgot. I hope it doesn't happen again, but I, I totally blanked. I forgot to do it. Oh, okay. So Ultron can fix that problem. We've got the Dazzler in hand, too, so we can build a really strong lane. Oh, Sinister London also fixes that problem. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we'll just put a bunch of Dazzlers around. That should be fine. Certainly with Synergy London and, I, and and Ultron here, we expect to fill up the uh, fill up the spots. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, man, I, I really wish everyone could be here when we make the deck because there's a lot of the same questions over and over again, which is not your fault, but. Uh, you all miss the, the various conversations about Patriots and Ultrons and and all these uh, these things that we've decided to do that you're missing. Sorry to say. Uh, okay, Shauna, we're gonna have double Dazzler, which means this actually fills that location, but but I can't put it there because then. But if I don't play Shauna, oh, I still get these three. Okay, I can do this. I can play Nightcrawler. That's fine. This leaves me a little bit more flexibility. Um, that makes my life a lot harder though, because everything just got really expensive, huh? Do not want to be spending four energy on these Dazzlers. Um, I mean, in theory though, so let's see, that copies, we could just move this here whenever. That copies on turn five, we play another Dazzler. How many how many spots do I have open, right? Let's do that, eight and nine. If I play each of these is two, four. Uh, this is another three is uh, seven. And then whatever we decide to play, surely Ultrons will fill the remaining locations. Um, we're not gonna be very buffed though. It's really just gonna be the dazzlers that are powerful 
Uh, I can play the squirrel girl. Oh no, I gotta play this turn because I'm, oh, I'm on turn five already. Oh no, this plan's not good. I don't know, whatever. Dazzlers over Ultron's in that case, right? Because I think we can fill up anyway. Ooh, Ant-Man's really good with Dazzler. Yeah, that's perfect. This is fine. So now we have double Dazzler mid, Dazzler left, and Ant-Man right. I do kind of wish I could get... I kind of have to do it this way because I definitely want the double Dazzlers. Uh, is this big enough? I, they're already at 16, man. I, it doesn't feel big enough to me, does it? Why are these so big? Oh, the double forge. Yeah, that's right. I mean, certainly Silver Surfer here is pretty nuts with Sinister London. I don't think the Dazzlers are big enough. I'm too lazy to figure it out. But, uh, oh, Rhino. Oh, that, that, that ruins me, dude. Oh, that super ruins me. <laughs> okay, man. Well, we didn't have a chance. Screw us, I guess. Uh... I watched uh, episode one of Last of Us, but I haven't caught the second one yet. <sighs> Dude, Killmonger is so <laughs> insane. <laughs> he just counters entire game plans. Um, all right, a, a lot of you, I, I'm getting enough questions about Patriot that it's, it's, I, I feel like it's gonna be the same thing on YouTube and it's gonna drive me crazy, but. We decided not to do Patriot because we wanted to play Shauna. We don't have to play Shauna, obviously. Uh, it's fine if we don't. We can we can try to do a Patriot version of the deck. That's that's chill. Um, I you know I think this is fine. I I think I'm a little sad that there's like only you know just the one Dazzler, and I'm not sure how much that really helps. Like, does Dazzler really make this deck better, or would you rather be playing other things on your Dazzler turn? That's that's one problem I have with this deck, I guess, is like, well, well, is Dazzler really helping that much? How much is Dazzler contributing to this game plan at all? Um, We can do Squirrel still. <laughs> what else do uh what else do these decks run i gotta think here real quick a brood is certainly good at filling up spaces no question about that i mean i've seen these decks run thing i guess dazzler is kind of like a thing but only kinda White Tiger actually may be a little better for this deck in particular. Mm, just given that it takes up two spaces. Uh, Doctor Doom's fine, but we gotta be thinking about energy expenditure. Don't think we'll need Sinister. Mysterio actually is a good fit. Yeah, Mysterio's good. I like how cheap he is and double buffs there. This is looking okay. Maybe we'll put Silver Surfer in these decks with a Cyclops because you got the Brood already. We got Debris as well in here. We don't have Cyclops though. That is not particularly uncommon. I think, I think I think we would be a little too all like like we've already got a dazzler game plan like I don't want to mix and match game plans too much you know what's another good uh patriot car what else are these decks running dude I haven't seen one of these in forever list I do actually really like the idea of Thanos Dazzler for the record. Like, man, that actually sounds so much more fun. 
my problem is here guys i am running out of time to get a video for this i wanted to get a video today um i don't know man i, I think i'm gonna stick to the deck we have just to get a video out on dazzler like i, I don't think this is going to be the best deck that we have for sure but it seems functional and i can get a video tonight and then we can revisit dazzler tomorrow with maybe a little more time and a better a better cooler deck like thanos sounds more fun i don't actually think patriot sounds very fun i don't know if i like that um but i do love thanos as an idea Let, so let's do that let's let's keep rolling with this i i think this deck's totally okay we've had some fun games already actually Okay, Ant-Man on one's good. Mojo Ant-Man together is a little greedy, <clears throat> but maybe not impossible. Maybe Dazzler is just bad. You you take it back. Look at her. How could she be bad? She's got glowing things coming out of her hands. That's a recipe for success if I've ever seen it. We actually need to start building. I, I, I need to concentrate because we actually need to build a lane for dazzler right now in fact i guess mid is, is maybe a good place to do it oh actually right is also a good place to do it now that we have zabu in particular it'll be much easier to get all this going um <clears throat> yeah this is a great top deck this is a great top deck obviously anytime you draw zabu is good right oh cerebro is gonna get wrecked by uh, nita valir unless they have a way to wipe this out um I really want the Dazzler in hand on turn five, don't I? Oh, Shauna's back to four because of the stupid Baron Mordo. Dang it. Um, so the idea here is to play two Dazzlers on turn five and then just play Ultron on six. Is that actually good enough? Like, do we think the two Dazzlers carry or am I better off just playing Blue Marvel on five? Then I'm not really copying anything compelling, though, is the thing. Like, the Moon Girl is basically doing nothing. Which, I mean, I, she's she's four power, I guess. She's four power, I guess. But I think, I think the Blue Marvel line just will make more sense, won't it? Which means we're going to put... Got to figure out where to put this power, right? We have a couple power units here, but we don't expect Mojo to actually fill up much. I think the Dazzler actually goes right, and I think Blue Marvel goes somewhere over here. Blue Marvel probably goes left now. Because that's not the highest power position over there. It might jump to being much better if they do go for a, a, a location wipe right. Oh, we got a little eyeball. He's excited. Bill <laughs> loves Dazzler. How fun. But we know they've got a lot of power here, so this seems like the place for Blue Marvel, right? And then just uh, Ultron right should be fine. Scarlet Witch, yeah, okay. So that's that's kind of what we expected, right? Just given the fact that uh, they, they, we knew that wiped their, their Cerebro. So are we big enough here? Ultron's really only getting... Uh, plus two, plus two over there, or plus one, plus one over there is... Four, and then another uh, three for the Ant-Man, seven. Uh, that's 11. That actually does tie. I counted right. No, 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 it does not tie. No. We're only adding seven, not adding 11. 11 the, 12 the amount. Do we win mid and right? Eh, maybe, let's see, I don't know, whatever. We'll find out. We're gonna win right for sure, because Dazzler's huge, right, but. <clears throat> ah, for sure, he says. <laughs> is Dazzler big enough? Oh, it is! Yes! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Blue Marvel Dazzler. Oh, answering the Valkyrie. Let's go, dude. That's amazing. They actually had the perfect counter, but this is ongoing. She doesn't care, dude. Dazzler doesn't care. <laughs> She's better than... And then Blue Marvel rebuffing as well, of course, made a huge difference. Woo! Crazy, dude. Crazy. Good game. Dude, I like Dazzler now. She's my favorite card now. 
Hey, Kobe Wan with the 10 months and dopest body also had 35 months, everybody. That's nice. Thank you guys for the big time subs. GG, that was me, says Bill Dizzle. <laughs> GG, man. I love your Valkyrie deck. That's fun. I've been I've actually had Cerebro 3s with Valkyrie on the on the on my like list of decks to play on stream for a long, long time. Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, let's wait on the squirrel girl here. Feels like that's a little premature. We might have time for it later. There is Okay, yeah, I was gonna say there is some arguments to playing it now to get uh, Moon Girl hand positioning better, and I think we're going to. Particularly because it got increased cost, which is good, because that means it didn't increase the cost of Zabu or something, right? Okay, I guess Zabu's going mid, that's fine. So this is gonna have Dazzler, Shauna, in the Moon Girl, that's pretty cool. Something like that. We can put a Dazzler left and mid, because we don't want Dazzler going right, since she's an ongoing effect. Are we willing to play a Shauna now? Let's think about this. We don't really need to by any means. That means we have one spot left available. We have one spot in each location. I have two Dazzlers I want to play. They have to go left and mid. That would leave me a turn six play with Blue Marvel right. That's actually kind of okay, right? That's what we need. Otherwise, we might not have time to play the Shauna. Okay, I, I actually think this is correct. Oh, okay. that That's not ideal, but we'll sort it out. Shoot, now I'm going to have to use like an Ultron, I think, later. Uh, Ultron mid or something. This blue marvel won't be good enough anymore. But the Double Dazzler's pretty sick. Uh, we have to play Ultron mid in this case because he won't work left and right. He won't fill. So, yeah, I mean, if we had to, we could like double debris or something too, but Ultron should be the right play. Ultron's not that good because we don't have any, any way to buff the one. The, the, they're, they're still small, right? Like it actually makes left weaker, I guess. Like Rocha loses a power. <laughs> so that's Shauna getting a... Uh, Getting countered by Cosmo did hurt a little more than we'd like to admit, probably. Oh, I was going to say, did I say Blue Marvel right this whole time? Was that my plan? That wasn't going to work. <laughs> I'm just realizing I think I, I think I played Blue Marvel right. That doesn't work. Shauna so far seems much better than Dazzler, and Darkhawk is so OP. He's stupid. Yeah, n n none of these new four drops seem to be anywhere close to the Darkhawk power level. Compared to the, the previous cards that came out before them, right? In Zabu and Darkhawk, this new round of cards is just so weak. I think Sauron's pretty solid, but not as good as Zabu or Darkhawk. They're both just crazy good. Opponent is thinking a lot about these Dazzlers. Not sure what to do. I don't know either, so welcome to the party. Uh, Surely that's fine. Oh, no, it's not fine. I can't fill. Oh, I can't add a card. Uh, I lied. Uh, but maybe this is good enough now? Even though it doesn't, uh... Doesn't buff the Dazzlers, maybe we just get big enough across both of these? Because we're winning left, we just need to win one of the other spots. Seven, and, uh, we're adding six, so thirteen. I, I suspect this might be okay, actually. That's a pretty sneaky Professor X. But I think this could be okay. It might be hard for them to add the power in the right shape here. So that leaves right, hopefully, it looks like. Mora's fine if right is uncontested, right? That color's fine, yeah. We out-sneaked the sneakiness! Good little pivot there, the double dazzler not exactly going to plan, but yeah, it worked out. Zabu carried that game, really, if you think about it. So we'll take it. Darkhawk's only good because of Zabu, though, right? Well, maybe, but I, 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 that doesn't make it not good because there's, you know, it's 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 not being compared to Zabu. It's being compared to all the other four drops that are available in a Zabu world. So, you know what I mean? 
Like it, it, he, you have to compare Darkhawk to the other four drops that also benefit from Zabu. If that makes sense. But also, Darkhawk was good before Zabu. We we played a really good Darkhawk deck pre Zabu. Not, not like S tier, but you know, solid, good. Mojo here makes sense. It's already a, a, a unit. Shauna, Shauna left is probably where we're gonna want to go with Shauna. Oh, okay. <laughs> this game just got very wacky. Oh, we drew Zabu too. That's sad. So definitely gonna be playing a Kzar this game. The opponent feels very confident. Okay. They should. We're gonna stick in though. I, I'm gonna see how this. I'm gonna see if we can dig this out, right? They're very favored here because I'm so locked up. But if we hit a blue marvel in particular, we can still add quite a bit of power to this game. So I'm not like to totally hopeless here, right? Blue marvel would be the dream. So we're pretty big right too. Like they actually have to, they have to contest right. Um, I guess we debris here just to increase the odds that Mojo connects. But I have to. Oh no, it doesn't even work, Cosmo. Uh, well, it's probably still right then, just to make sure that we uh, we give ourselves the max available power here. So we're really just looking for a blue marble top deck, I guess. Uh, we'll see. Iron Man. Man. Okay, Iron so we Man. don't win left. Blue Marvel only adds four in best case. Moon Girl. Well, we have to assume this is a loss. <laughs> I mean, uh, they just, uh, I think if they play Destroyer here, though, if, if that's their best play, Destroyer right, they're going to what, 23? I'm only, yeah, I'm only going to 19. That's sad. Yeah, let's make him have it. I don't I don't mind sacrificing some cubes. It's fine. Let's make him have it. Clearly a lot of good plays here, but let's make him have it. Uh, that'll work too, yeah. That's fine. Guess that's really more reliable for them, isn't it? Because I can't add that much power here. Only other four off Blue Marvel. 15 to 9 versus 23 to 19. Okay. It's fun. Sakaar uh, changing changing fates as always. Ooh, she looks pretty cool in 3D actually. That looked nice. That looked cool. Uh, let me let me upgrade something real quick. I want to see if we can't. Uh, I want to just I want to hit that sentry on stream. I've been I've been waiting on the sentry roll forever. Or my last series five. Let's see if we can't hit sentry on stream real quick. It'd be really fun, wouldn't it? You guys can't exactly see this beautifully, but it's okay. Sentry real quick. Uh, start the scroll here, guys. The forever scroll past infinite cards. Uh, ooh, these vision upgrades. What do I take? These are all sick. Which one do I upgrade, guys? I like them all. I even like the pixel vision really well. I'm gonna do the Dan Hip. I can see myself playing a full Dan Hip deck someday, so let's do the Dan Hip vision in that case. All right, give, give me give me Sentry. That's, uh, that's a little bit of a Sentry. That's Sentry's toe. <laughs> I got one finger of sentry. Oh boy. How exciting. Uh oh, you guys liked it when I played with variants last time. I forgot to swap in variants. It's okay though. Actually, Deadpool's not fully upgraded. Let's sit on that one for a minute. His base version. Animated. Yeah, Vision's variants are actually really nice on average, I think. I think he has some of the best looking variants. I, well, I just like Vision a lot as a character, I guess. So maybe that's uh, maybe that's me just liking Vision. Three away, so not quite there on a... I have uh, no. one location, one card, one card. Okay, that's not going to be completed with this deck. That's for sure. 
we're not gonna be doing the win a location with one card with our dazzler deck i don't think it would be cool if we did but i just don't see it happening all right squirrel girl we'll hold on to i guess we could be a good enabler for moon girl but i don't see us moon girling if we don't have zabu which we might hit zabu but corn cob corn cob tv is corn cob a streamer guys do you know corn cob do you know the corn cob tv i don't know who this is they might be a streamer though go check them out on twitch i hope they're not insulted if i don't know who they are <laughs> that's not my intent i promise ah zabu on top on three that's pretty cool moon girl though here i, I don't think particularly interesting i uh, debris is fine i mean oh never mind debris is gonna hurt ah moon girl dazzler is much more fun we're not gonna be winning asgard but with moon girl it's kind of okay i just don't know if we're gonna be strong enough right two dazzlers does not feel like enough to carry here to me um i'm also worried about their own uh debris here locking me out yep so now we have to somehow win right i mean we can buff across with you know stuff we can hit a we can hit a kzar or a blue marvel or whatever and try to buff that buff that spot but it's gonna be tough okay so <laughs> just uh, have at it good luck <laughs> good, good luck court cop do your best buddy i don't know <laughs> uh, just let's see what they can muster i think they got it polaris is big that's big enough surely oh mojo's really big yeah that's gonna do it yeah nice Corn Cobb got there. <laughs> he gave me what I wanted. I just couldn't get the Dazzler in the right spot, man. If Dazzler was over here, I think we would have had a really good shot. Like, they'd played the debris right, you know? Which, of course, they played in the right spot and everything, but we, we would have gotten a little more opportunity there. The cor I got I got Corn Cobbed, by the way. <laughs> I got go that sounds I don't know that sounds like a thing I don't know is that a thing maybe I need to look that up before I say I got corn cobbed live on stream I don't know if you can do that on twitch <laughs> you may not be allowed to get corn cobbed on twitch <laughs> I don't know <laughs> that sounds like a thing to me though I'm sure of that all right Sabri's fine yeah we've got Kzar in particular so getting our rocks uh bumped up here is nice Zabu, of course, on two. Scary. Super flow. Okay, at least we disrupted that for both of us. Hey, we got our own Zabu. Nice. Uh, let's spread our power around a little here. We would love a Moon Girl Dazzler, but we're not going to have time, I guess, for all that, are we? Seems like no is the answer. Corn Cob uh, refers to being destroyed in a debate or social situation. Uh, I think that's because of that, uh, that, that viral tweet a long time ago. There was that tweet, like, uh, I, I, I turned into a corn cob thing, tweet thing. As I recall. We're locking up too early here, probably, aren't we? Maybe we, these are all so cheap. Maybe we, maybe we wait a turn or two here. Chana at the end is probably a bit better than... Than otherwise let's chill let's not overcommit early get a feel for the shape of the game before we go nuts here well that makes me a little sadder i guess still with elysium we're so it's so cheap uh mojo certainly feels like it's gonna connect shauna here leaves me one spot It still feels too early, but she's bigger than Ultron most of the time. But I might want to just play an eight power Ultron next turn, because if I don't hit Blue Marvel, I'm not 
I mean, Dazzler is better and score, uh, but that's it. Uh, Dazzler and Blue Marvel. And I have the luxury to play. This is fine. Yeah. In other words, I don't need to wait. It, it's fine. This is fine. Oh, Spider Man's cool. We're filled there anyway. That's fine. As long as we're big enough. I think we could. Oh, my. Well, actually, yeah. Ultron still fixes this problem. He's just not big enough, is he? Oh, no, he doesn't fix the problem. Shauna fills her own spot like an idiot. Oh, Shauna, you idiot. Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. How's, oh, how sad, dude. If we played Shauna right, how could we have known? They obviously could have put the Absorbing Man here. How could we have known? Can't win right. I can't win mid, so we lose. We... Yeah, Nightcrawler's giving it his best. You ever just like hold a corn cob when you're done with it? Says Jam Caro. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't spend a lot of time with the corn cobs once I've, uh, once they've served their purpose, I guess. Uh, I could imagine like having a little sword fight, like a you know, lightsaber corn cob battle after dinner with your kids or something, but I don't have any of those, so. <laughs> I don't know if that's the behavior I want to encourage, but I can see that. Uh, Alright, Mojo. Are you one of those odd people that shave the corn cob off the cob before eating it? Oh, shave the corn off the cob. Your sentence didn't make sense at first. It does now. I, I know how to read. No, but my wife is, and I think it's very strange. I like getting in there, getting dirty, you know. I want to get in there and get, get, uh, you know, I want to get sloppy. <laughs> Uh, Spider-Man is more irritating now because of Absorbing Man copying him. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I, I feel like that's a pretty unhealthy pattern. I 100% agree with you. Uh, this Iceman buff is killing me here because we'd love to play Blue Marvel into Ultron normally. Perhaps that's still correct. Just Dazzler here, Blue Marvel here, Ultron here. I'm a little sad that we're not going to benefit from Stark Tower in that case. We could just put the Ultron here. Blue Marvel here, but I really want to win Baxter building in particular, right? Because of the roll off. We want to make sure we're getting that plus three. Ooh, okay. Well, that means Blue Marvel's going left, but that still creates the same problem where we're not really benefiting a lot off Stark Tower. But hopefully Ultron is still surprising enough. These Polarises have kind of wrecked us today, man. They're really good. First thing we did after getting Absorbing Man was make a deck with Leader and Spider-Man. Uh, shame All on you. No, I, I played, played Spider-Man and Absorbing Man to infinite, so I, I'm not uh, above this conversation. Just, you know, I both abused it and recognized how abusive it is. <laughs> you know, I, uh, again, don't hate the player, hate the game on these. But I, I don't I don't think we should really have absorbing man spider-man in the game feels really frustrating It just you know, it just shuts down the game so hard. It's another zabu issue though It, it ties back to zabu, right? It's you, you can't play both in one turn normally and then zabu changes that rule So I you know, zabu just needs to be less strong. I, th I think everybody recognizes zabu is outrageously good Okay, give me the Killmonger, baby. Can't wait to lose everything. Oh, we didn't. Nice. Cool. No Killmonger. Beautiful. Actually nuts. As we saw earlier, Sil Silver Surfer decks with Killmonger just absolutely gut us, but they didn't have it. Maybe they didn't see it coming. Maybe they did. I don't know. Dazzler carried, by the way, though. We, we win by four. Plus six on the Dazzler. Mojo not even active. Plus three on Baxter didn't really matter much, but 
It's hard to beat the brood lane either way. Wonder if we I wonder I wonder if we should have put the blue marvel mid on that conversation point. Um because it didn't really matter if it got buffed that we we're always losing against broods anyway. That's worth talking about. Probably should have pulled the blue marvel mid just to get a little extra power mid in case they can test mid. But oh no, that's fine. Um Convertage, okay. Shauna could just fill the entire <laughs> Shauna by herself. <laughs> Locks down the game. Yandu deleting some garbage from my deck. Thank you, Yandu. Now I can hit Moon Girl and copy all the stuff I love. Appreciate you, Yandu. I rewatched uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 the other day, like looking for a movie to fall asleep to. Because <laughs> I actually, when I we watched Guardians of the Galaxy 2 in the theater when it came out and I fell asleep and I never really went back and, and, and caught up on the parts that I missed. And uh, man, I missed way more than I thought. I, I think I missed a good 40 minutes of the movie. I didn't even realize. I think it was legit about 40 minutes. Uh, I think we go Shauna here over, uh, over Blue Marvel, right? So she's gonna fill each of these for two spots. Oh, the opponent just is out, okay. I guess they realize Galactus doesn't work with ninjas here. Galactus don't play with no ninjas, man. Uh, so anyway, I caught up on Guardians of the Galaxy 2. This is good. It's fine. I just want to be ready for 3 when it comes out. Reminded myself how it all works. Ant-Man's first, of course, though. Okay. Nightcrawler. Does Nabu work with wave? Uh, no. <laughs> Zabu does not work with wave, no. No, he, uh, Zabu reads, uh, your four cost cards, not cards that cost four, which in Marvel Snap is an important distinction. Marvel Snap cares about that distinction. Four cost means they're organic, natural, original cost. Cost four refers to their current values. Uh, okay, let's go Shauna into Blue Marvel here, right? We'll get really big. We'll trust their hand to fill us up. I mean, we don't need to fill up. We don't have we don't have Dazzler, I guess. Might go Dazzler Ant Man if we drew it though. It might be better than Blue Marvel. You know, Blue Marvel's more total stats very often, but uh, oh zero, yikes! Maybe we go Squirrel Girl. Ah, yeah, I think I think we can go Squirrel Girl Dazzler in this case. Let's go here, because we can still move Nightcrawler out. Uh... Yeah. We're gonna get... We gotta remember, we're giving them Ultron, Blue Marvel, and Ant-Man. Ant-Man in particular there could be meaningful. Obviously, Ultron and Blue Marvel could be meaningful anywhere. Strange, oh, Strange Academy is going to fill me up mid, isn't it? That's right. That's okay, though. Let's see what they can do. I think like a Professor X, right? Could be good for them. Uh, Professor X mid, maybe? Oh, Devil Dinosaur mid. Okay, that is not what we expected. All right. Okay, so we're good left always. We lose mid always though, so we just really have to contest right. We know they have Ultron. Uh, so if they play an Ultron mid here, they only get four power, I win. If they play Ultron right here, I get eight power. I win. Also, Dazzler gets buffed, so we win left hard. Uh, what else did they have? They had an Ant-Man. Ant-Man mid wouldn't give me any power, but then they'd only be able to play. Like, like this always wins, right? It's leader. Oh, Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel. Ant-Man here and then Blue Marvel. 
Oh yeah, then I wouldn't get the blue marvel. Hmm. Yeah, that would win them. Well, no, I'd still win left because I'm gaining the plus six off Dazzler. And I'd gain the blue marvel. I'd gain the Ant-Man. I'd still win, right? That's still a win, I think. Oh, they moved the Nightcrawler. Oh, I did not think about moving Nightcrawler. Oh, that's not a plan. We, we, we didn't plan for that, guys. Oh, moving Nightcrawler. Oh, everything else we beat, but moving Nightcrawler, I didn't. They knew they had leaders, so they moved Nightcrawler out to a spot. I could have moved my Nightcrawler, though. If I'd moved my Nightcrawler, they would have lost the same way. <laughs> that was a risk. They kind of took a risk that I wouldn't move Nightcrawler. Blue Marvel middle and you lose. Uh, not if they play Ant-Man first, I'm saying. The, the point was Blue Marvel or Ant-Man, right? Oh, maybe just, just Blue Marvel mid? Oh yeah, they don't play both. Yeah, maybe just Blue Marvel mid wins. Ant-Man to eat the leader though into Blue Marvel doesn't win. Because we would have we would have gotten the Dazzler buff. In that case. Was Arrow ever just a better play, by the way? We had Arrow instead of Leader, but I don't I don't think it was. I don't think it ever fit out better. Um yeah, I think they should have just played Blue Marvel mid. I think you're right. I don't think they should have taken the risk with the Ultron move thing, because that could have backfired if I moved too. How do I feel about the current meta? Uh, I'm, I'm okay with it, I guess. I, I Zabu's really strong. It seems like Zabu and Silver Surfer are defining everything, which I, I, I think it'd be nice for a change, you know? If we could mix it up a little bit, I'd be happy. But I'm not, like, too frustrated by any particular thing. I actually prefer this to seeing leader everywhere, frankly. I just get so sick of seeing leader every single game. Power level conversations aside, it's just annoying to see him all the time. Wow. Isle of Silence Mamojo, man. Uh, okay, that's a lot of threes. Ooh, th th is th 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 we got Dazzler off Triskelion. That's not my top deck, that's crazy. Okay, I like that. So they didn't go for Death's Domain, by the way, which I find really intriguing. They, they, that must indicate that they have a play here. Maybe they're going to play Brood here or something and uh, go for it there like that. That could be the that could be the line. Uh, I got to think about how to get an Ultron Dazzler down here. We can't put Ultron right, but we can put it mid. So Shauna fills mid Death's Domain one spot here. We move Nightcrawler over on six. Or am I putting Blue Marvel then though? No, we're moving Nightcrawler here. We're putting Blue Marvel mid. No, we can't put Blue Marvel mid. Blue Marvel goes right, Ultron goes mid, I guess, later. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, no, this is fine. We could do White Tiger too, technically, I guess. Oh no, oh no, no, no! Squirrel Girl actually screws me! Shoot! I needed this space! That's where Blue Marvel was supposed to go! Dang it! Shauna, dude, you suck. Uh, I can go for White Tiger, but it's just, it's not that strong, right? It's the problem. I mean, it does make Dazzler pretty big, I guess. Hey, Mrs. Kilvin, what's up? Ow. How do you feel about corn cobs? You, you want a corn cob tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Guys, I gotta go. See you later. It's been a good stream. I don't know what a corn cob is, but it sounds fun. We'll do it tonight. I'll, I'll look it up. Okay, I'll do some research. <laughs> um, uh, let's just wait a turn so we don't give them too much information. Mm, oh, oh, ongoing effects are disabled. <laughs> get, get wrecked, Professor X, dude. All right, hopefully this is enough. Hopefully this is enough. 
They should they could have played that left earlier, but we got big soon enough, I guess. So is Dazzler big enough? I mean that's a 12 point advantage, right? That feels big enough to me. And certainly left feels big. Maybe they're trusting I can't fill the, the Dazzler. But we can, baby. Dazzler OP. Let's go. Corn Cobs and Bear Claws got nothing on us, man. Victory. Even though Shauna kind of screwed me there, because we'd be way stronger, right? If we'd played Blue Marvel on five over here and then finished on White Tiger instead. We'd be super, super strong or Ultron, whatever the plan was, I guess. White Tiger kind of saved us. We, did, did, did we, how did we lose the Ultron? Am I losing my mind? I thought I had an Ultron in hand and then it was gone. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to Mrs. Kilman. I have no idea. I got to take a pee break, guys. I'll be right back. Give me, give me, uh, give me one minute. It was discarded by Blade. Oh man, I, that's how. Blade and Squirrel Girl both screwed me. Okay, I'll be right. All right. On the soda target, a starry, a lemon lime, zero sugar. Does anyone know any? Oh, you guys can't see it. Does any? Oh, it's green screening. Does anyone know anything about this? Starry lemon lime. I, I, I it's just like a, it's made by Pepsi. It's like Seven Up or something. It's it kind of tastes like Surge. Oh, it used to be Sierra Mist. Oh. What happened to Sierra Mist? What happened to it? Ant-Man's really good off Moon Girl. Maybe we hold it in hand. They thought Gen Z didn't like the name Sierra Mist. Does kind of sound like the name of a... Uh... uh Let's say an adult actress. <laughs> I can kind of hear some some. Uh, <laughs> like I wouldn't be surprised to see that somewhere. Hey, Blue Magnum, what's up? That also sounds like the name. Oh, Lemuria is screwing me. It's actually kind of fine. We just lose out on the mojo here, but that's okay. Uh, the important thing is we're getting Dazzler and Ant-Man, which is really our, our goal here. Squirrel Girl 2 can, can help us fill in really nicely for sure. If not Ant-Man. Oh, their own Moon Girl Collector getting just jacked already. I feel like this lane's gonna be harder for us to contest on average, so maybe we just go ahead and put some power here. Leave some flexible. They could commit to New York though too with the collector. It's really hard to know. We're gonna get these dazzlers like we want, but are we gonna be big enough otherwise? <clears throat> I mean, between Ant Man and Mojo Mid, hopefully that's big enough. Let's see how this feels. <laughs> Taking a break from Hearthstone? I mean, it's it's been like 16 hours since I played. That means a break, I guess, yeah. Uh, we actually just need the Ant-Man here. We need to be, oh, that doesn't fill me up though. No, I have to let one of the squirrels roll, uh, roll mid, huh? I mean, eh, who knows where to put the power here, really? This is enough power. We're adding power everywhere. This th this actually puts the least power... Mi well, Ant-Man might actually be better than Mojo in many cases, huh? Now that I think about it. If they don't move, this is actually more power. If they do move, it's a little less, but maybe that's okay, too. Yeah, let's see. I don't know. This is a lot of stuff. This is, oh, we missed the mojo, sadly. That makes me sad. Hard to know, though, like we said. I mean, we're still really big, so hopefully it's enough. Oh, 28! That's too big! 
Yeah, it's just too big. Dazzler cannot keep up here. <sighs> we have so much power wasted, right? Yeah, could we could have moved the Dazzler over technically, right? We had a squirrel to cover, right? If we wanted to move a Dazzler in instead of a squirrel, that's only net nine powers. The problem we would have had to have both Mojo and the Dazzler mid to to really beat that. That's kind of hard to. That's a hard call to make. I I don't know. We actually match them for power. It looks like ours is just it, it all kind of isolated over here. Our strongest lane, sadly, is uh, uncontested. Kind of, kind of, kind of frustrating. Hey, Steels Twenty One, dude. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the uh, gifted sub. Congrats to Ragin. Uh, do you know about the Twitch plugin where you can hover over the cards and view the context of it? Yeah, I wondered. Uh, I wondered if it. Uh, I thought. I thought Untapped had. Um, I have an extension turned on, but I didn't know if it worked for you guys or not because my layout is really weird. That's the moral of the story. I, I actually have an extension turned on for Marvel Snap, but I don't I don't know how it works exactly and if it's if it's using screen reading or if there's some other mechanism. And it, it's like I'm zoomed in and stuff and like this oh, is my ego. Domain. So I don't know if it works, but let me know if it does or doesn't. I'm curious to learn. I bet we're good with ego, man. We have a lot of just like good, cheap, playable stuff like curve filling. Oh, did they snap? I gotta snap back. We gotta snap the ego, man. We gotta we gotta give a fist bump and snap the ego. I am ego. All right, <clears throat> move that nightcrawler, baby. Zabu's cool. Oh, they fist bump me. Did they get Zabu too? Oh, Cosmo. Okay, that uh, that could be disruptive to us for sure. Mojo's good over there though. That's a good spot for Shauna. That's okay. Leaves a little room available for other plays, but still fills me up nicely. Ultron left would still be big. I mean, that might be okay. The, the good news is having all these cheap cards is right. We're just getting a lot of stuff. It's maybe not gonna be in the best spot. It's not gonna be the most powerful, but it's just a lot of stuff. Sometimes just having a lot of stuff wins. I'd love if we could hit something like uh, Blue Marvel too, just to ensure that uh, we get some extra power at it. Is he gonna? Is he gonna play a destroyer and wipe all of this, dude? Oh my god! Oh no! Don't fill me up. Maybe that's okay. We do get buffed by Stark Tower at least. I could live with that, I guess. Is he gonna play? <laughs> is he gonna get a destroyer that wipes the board? <laughs> oh my god, dude, that would be so delightful. He can't go left on the Cosmo now, so. I am. I am uh, <laughs> All systems go. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh god. Yeah, good luck, buddy. A big eight cuber here. Surely he can't win. There's no way. How do you beat two spots? There's just no way, right? Yeah. Sick, dude. One power advantage left. Holy crap. Victory. Oh, man. If this had rolled like a Nova or something instead of a human torch. Woo. Ego. Thank you for the cubes, buddy. That's fun. I think I just got corn cobbed. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe the opponent did. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks again, Steels, by the way. Survival Potato. It's a good spot for the Ant Man with debris. We can probably get this really close to filling up for a mojo later, too. We want. All right. <clears throat> oh. Do we just give them a debris, guys? Like, do we care if they play debris? I don't really care. I think we benefit from it more on average. I like the game being locked up, I think. Ah, oh, that's that's already good. A rock stole a lockdown spot, so that's nice. Okay, that's not as nice. <laughs> uh alright. Yeah. So I want cards in hand for them. It, it theoretically kind of makes their lockjaw a little better, arguably. Um 
I really want two blue marvels. I know that, but I'm worried about them playing debris and like really shutting this game out. Uh, this is good with zero cost cards, but they're going to have too many board spots taken for that, I guess. I'm just really thinking about where to put this. I definitely don't want to put blue marvels here. So I think leaving, leaving space open elsewhere for the blue marvels makes more sense. Mbaku going back in deck and Chavez. Okay, so we're never winning rights. We just don't ever have enough power. Uh, we might be putting an Ultron left though, or mid. So let's just keep the blue marvels over here. They're fine buffing across the lanes basically here. Vision, all right, that's big. Blue marvel again, and then we finish on Ultron, I guess. Still not really super powerful though. Giganto, oh crap, we lose, don't we? Ultron only adds 10 here, which is a net of six, which means I go to 29 versus 30. I guess actually, da can I get a Dazzler to fill? Because Dazzler would be better. I'm not contesting this, am I? This goes to 10, 20? No. Is it better off going mid then, I guess? They're not going to put four cards mid. Uh, does this win? It goes to 12? 35? Unless they move and play something big again. It kind of does. Yeah, let's see, man. I don't know. This is, this is close. They played something big. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's too big. One too big. That's one too big. Shit. Eight was the magic number. <clears throat> Ugh. Okay. That was close. Tough one. Uh, do you think Second Dinner sees it as a win that the community complains at every release? <laughs> no, I hope not anyway. My God, I, I've told them, I, I've told them myself that I think it's so silly how new cards cause angst instead of excitement. I told them this long ago. I gave them this immediate direct feedback and I hope it's eventually... And I'm not the only one, certainly, but but I've been saying this for a while, so trust me, I'm I'm on you I'm on your side. Um, okay, with Sinister London, we've got some some thoughts here. We don't want to put too much garbage in. Frankly, if I knew that was coming, I wouldn't have even played a Squirrel Girl, right? Uh Sean has the same story though. Oh man, uh, we could we could just go for the debris plan. And hope to hit the right cards here. Like hope to hit Blue Marvel and maybe some Dazzlers and stuff to get big. But this leaves one spot on, on Sinister London for me. Two spots on Sinister London for them. But their board is basically garbage. I, I, I don't have a, a Blue Marvel or a Kazar yet is the risk with this play. I may... Okay, well, I'm glad I got it in under the Cosmo, at least, I guess. Yeah, let's wait, because clearly a blue Marvel here would be not so. I mean, the good news is they have very low power mid and low power left. Like, I can probably just win these straight up. We don't need to play this turn. Next turn, we might have to just play something if we don't hit the right stuff. It's definitely Dazzler. Dazzler is the play. Uh, this means I can always fill next turn with just the biggest thing possible, which is a blue marble or I mean, Ultron probably. What is that? Is that a Killmonger? They're snapping like that's a Killmonger. Oh God, I, I'm going to be revealing first probably, right? So, uh, well. In other words, Ultron does not get I around am. to kill Monger. Iron oh, Man. maybe they're just trusting the Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Huh. 
Ooh, that's a good draw, I think. Unless that's a Killmonger. Which I think is a pretty decent chance, honestly. But we'll see. We'll we'll we'll, we'll obviously give it a shot. If it's uh if it's Killmonger, obviously Dazzler sucks, Blue Marvel sucks, you know, my board sucks. <laughs> I cut down to just a few cards. We obviously lose. But uh we'll do our best. If it's not, we have a real shot here, because we uh we get some big old dazzlers. That's Omega Red and Onslaught. Oh. Oh, that seems too big. Yeah, man. That's cool. That's a fun deck. The bonus Iron Man made a huge difference there. Basically, having an extra Iron Man allowed this lane to get really big when it normally wouldn't, right? It would normally be 14. <clears throat> Okay, that's pretty cool. Dig it. Getting some Shauna boosters. Uh, hey, Reed, this longtime YouTube watcher finally caught a stream. Thanks for everything you make and do. Oh, thanks, man. Welcome to the stream. Okay, Shauna early. That's that's fine, really. Not a big deal. We like planner. Uh, zero is a little worse, though. Uh, we could just squirrel girl the zero away, probably, though. Just kind of dump a card here. We, it seems like we hit zero a lot, by the way. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. It it. I feel like we hit zero all the time. Um... All right, hear me out. We're gonna take this game a little weird because I, I'm really scared about this movement stuff. And I think debris makes their life so awkward when it comes to movement stuff. This does mean I'm already locked up on X Mansion, but I'm gonna just fill their board with garbage. And hopefully that's enough to win. Cable's very bad. I wanted a big card there. Uh, Shang-Chi's pretty small for them too, at least though. So this literally leaves me one spot to play. Is that right? Uh, I mean, I get, I get, a, I get a Kazar down, which buffs all these rocks. I, I don't hate it, man. I don't hate it. Let's try. Oh, uh, that's a good, good position from them. Uh, they only have two spots remaining now. How do they win like this? They can't really move anything meaningfully. Kazar is adding uh, three power right and three power mid, which currently is enough to win. I guess we wait a turn though, right? Just to see. Nothing actually changes on my ends, but we might get more data. Cloak. Oh, Cloak could create some interesting plays for them, but me too, I guess, right? Me too. So they're gonna move like a, a Vulture over to left and then probably just play like a Heimdall right. So if I can get bigger right to contest, like we're gonna lose left always is my argument here because Vulture just gets too big. So if we can play a Kazar right, do we beat a Heimdall? They're losing three, so they go down to five, they go up to 13. I go to nine plus three is only 12. I don't think I do. If Heimdall is indeed the play, I don't think I do. I'm just saying Heimdall because it's like their big single power card potentially. Uh, I think this loses, but th that's okay. Let's... Uh... You know, I could move a rock, actually. Is that more power? Because a rock's only one. This adds four, six, nine. It's only 11. No, that's not... That's not better. Ah, whatever. Let's just see. I think... Oh, it's Magneto. Oh, we didn't have a chance to be Magneto. So, even bigger than Heimdall. I mean, this, this wasn't big enough anyway, like we said, but... I guess a mojo... 
Mojo is, this is worth six, right? Mojo would have been worth eight, right? Would have actually beaten a Heimdall, but I wouldn't won mid. I had to win mid too. Yeah. Magneto too big regardless though. Hey, crazy Raven, what's up? There are platform you post schedules for your streams. There are no schedules for my streams, so no. There is no, <laughs> even my brain doesn't have that platform. Sorry to say. I just stream whenever I'm done with YouTube videos. I am a streamer second and a YouTuber first, basically. Uh, okay, Shuri's lab could get pretty filled up. We don't actually have a great Dazzler enablers right now. Angela to me doesn't play. They're playing a lot of cards, which is kind of nice. Oh, rocks, more rocks, man. Always with the rocks. I will probably Moon Girl because currently Dazzler and Ant-Man are my most powerful cards anyway, so. That seems fine. Put a Dazzler mid, put a Dazzler right probably. This looks like a turn five and a turn six. Is it gonna be enough to get there though, actually? I have not mathed that out just yet. Are you excited about the tease nerfs coming to Hearthstone? Yeah, of course. I, it's, meta feels very bland, so yeah. 100%. Nightcrawler, we can move out and use his buff here, and then... That doesn't mean I'm getting one less Ant-Man, but I guess he's bigger than Ant-Man anyway, probably, right? He's four versus four-ish. Uh, that's not really true. No, uh, but I'm only playing... I'm not, I'm not filling up unless I draw the right card next turn. Uh, like an Ultron mid, for instance, which really does not feel like enough to win. That feels like an overcommitment, doesn't it? But if I were going to draw an Ultron mid, I would want the Ultron to go here and the Dazzler here to spread that power a little better, I think. Um, okay, so I mean we can play all the small stuff and get there. It just means that you know Oh Okay, wasn't really going there anyway, so that's fine, but it does mean dazzler is disabled uh, I mean The problem is this loses to like a single you know giant thing like destroyer here is just 30 right like you don't beat destroyer mid It's just 30 um, so, yeah, I mean, this, this wins some stuff, but you should probably retreat here, honestly. Oh, no, they don't have it. They didn't hit the big guy, I guess. Okay, cool. That works. We saw the plan backfire, but still just playing some 4-4s four got there, I guess. Tree's Live is better in Dazzlers than Ant-Man. It is, but I needed to have the power in specific places. You don't want to overcommit all of your power to one location, right? I needed to have some split power. And I needed three units in a spot to play uh, to play Ultron, but if I put Dazzler mid and put three units mid and then also put Ultron mid, I was gonna have a ton of power mid and none elsewhere. So instead, you put the Ant-Man mid to give you that three spot fill for the Ultron, because Ultron needs to be played in a location with three cards already. So you put Dazzler right to split off some of your power to make sure you're properly contesting right, while also setting up for the Ultron top deck mid. Of course, we had the Professor X come down, it all became irrelevant, but that's the logic. For now, we Squirrel Girl. If you're only looking at total power and not power in the right places, you're gonna lose a lot of Marvel Snap games, right? Sometimes it's about putting the power in the places it matters and will be meaningful as opposed to just getting as much as possible. If that makes sense. Yeah, Kiln's gonna lock up anyway. We can Shauna and then just Kazar. Yeah, this is fine. Shauna, I guess, man, I don't, Shauna's like a little overkill to be honest right now. We can use that as a surprise later though as well. So maybe just Kazar for now or Dazzler for now. Dazzler now, Kazar Ant-Man on five. Kazar has to go mid probably, Ant-Man goes right, and then Shauna goes right. Final turn. Okay, they're feeling confident, let's see. 
Are they running Ebony Maw? I feel like people always run the cards of their portrait. <laughs> like it's, especially if it's Silver Surfer. If it's Silver Surfer, they always have Silver Surfer. That's just a universal truth, I think. Ooh, they are very big, okay. Typhoid Mary actually helping us a little bit. That's nice. Uh, so we think Shauna's going right, actually, we said right, yeah. So we think we're going to win left, maybe, although Dracula obviously introduces a ton of doubt there. So next turn we can Shauna, Ant-Man, or if we hit an Ultron, we might Ultron instead. We'll have to see how we feel about it. Sadly, Mojo not getting activated because of the Dracula there, but it's all good. Oh my. Um, yeah, I, we need Ebony Maw, right? Like, Dracula is obviously very, very potentially large, so we need Ebony Maw. <laughs> I mean, mid, we, well, I, right is so big too. I, I, I think we're gonna have to lose mid, we think, aren't we? Like, this just seems impossible because right, we're not gonna win because the Typhoid Mary is just carrying so hard right. We're only adding, uh, Tiny baby amount of power right, which doesn't contest. So yeah, I think, I mean, Dazzler can can get there mid though. We're up by six, we're adding another six. That, no, that's that's reasonable enough. That, let's try this, but Dracula could beat us too. There's a lot of ways to lose here. Oh, they went right. Oh, that actually surprises me. Org, not as relevant. We needed that Ebony Maw. Right, it's so hard to add power to. Maybe an Atuma here? Zero. Oh, easy game, dude. <laughs> easy game. We were just dumping stuff to make the Dracula big enough. Yeah. Easy game. Are you kidding? What an easy game. Dazzler definitely got big enough. I'm really surprised. This. I. I. I I'm wondering why this doesn't go mid. Let me think. Why doesn't that go mid? It makes the. It, it didn't add any power. It made them smaller, right? What was the advantage of not just put? Oh. Oh, they can't go mid. Crimson Cosmos is why. Oh yeah. Okay. They can't play it in Cosmos, so they had to, they wanted to play it to make the, the Dracula bigger, so they didn't have a choice, yeah. So they were hoping 14 was big enough as well. Even though they lose a power, they are shifting their power into Dracula instead. Yeah, no, that's, they just didn't have a good big card. Were they ever just better off playing uh, Chavez? I guess not, because they knew Dazzler was going to get big. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Cool, good win, though. Love to see it. I gotta tell my wife that this is Sierra Mist. Starry. I, I feel like I like the name Sierra Mist better, but it is a little longer for branding names. Starry is a much shorter name. Black Panther? We don't really have a good way to use that, do we? It's gonna be tough to use. Man, I really have not played much Black Panther. Kind of missed the Shuri Black Panther stuff when that was meta. Now, now they don't run Black Panther and Shuri decks so much. I feel like they printed Dazzler just to make Shauna not garbage. Yeah, I mean, they clearly, you can see the uh, sort of planned cohesion among the uh, seasonal cards, right? It's Zabu and a bunch of four drops. We did get Sauron first, but also a bunch of fours. Three fours following up on the Zabu, basically. Okay, Black Panther on Comertage is actually pretty legit. But let's debris to lock out that location for them. So Sh Zabu plus a bunch of fours, and then, you know, Shauna and uh, Dazzler clearly make sense together, of course. But then also, um, like some of the locations make sense as well. We've, we've seen some locations that also, like today's featured location that's gonna show up later, well, Dazzler's not gonna work, so that's... Well, it actually might, and I take that back. No, we have Ultron and Shauna, so it definitely could work. In fact, uh, probably just Blue Marvel Ultron left, and we call it a day, right? That seems really good. That seems really scary, though. Of course, adding nine there off Silver Surfer means... Well, actually, hold up. Adding nine... No, adding 12 there. They go to 20. What do I go to, though? This goes to 10, 13, 
Uh, another four off Blue Marvel is 17, plus uh, the two off Ultron is only 19. Are you serious? We're going to lose that by one, one, maybe? Can I get away with a Shauna then? Is it stronger? It might be, yeah. Shauna plus Nightcrawler. Oh, that's not enough, though. I need two cards here. I would have to Nightcrawler and Shauna now to move the Nightcrawler over next turn. And then blue marvel plus a one drop, but I don't have a one drop, so that doesn't work. Um, We could do Kazar, but that's less power. Uh, Whatever, I don't know, let's see how it goes. I may not have a Silver Surfer number one. Number two, I might have done bad math. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Oh, that totally changes the numbers. Uh, delete that convers previous conversation, right? That is meaningless now. I mean, let's give it a go. It's it's definitely worth trying. They may not expect the big dazzler. Who knows? If there's no no silver surfer, or I mean, I don't know. Is, is there a surfer? Like, what is all this card? Maybe it's Cerebro. Why am I saying silver surfer? It's Cerebro deck. It's Cerebro three. Maybe there's no Cerebro. Stop talking about silver surfer, bro. It's Cerebro twos. Why do we keep saying silver surfer? Brain is stuck on surfer. So they might go Valkyrie left. Revealing first, though, so Ultron will win that. I mean, Cerebro mid just wins the game, I think. Should be enough. Cerebro is less than Surfer, though, so they don't have Cerebro and Mystique. We'd get there. If they go Cerebro Mystique, they might also just be too small mid. So they'd only be adding an additional two power here. I don't have very much either, though, do I? I'm only going to have a little. It would, they would actually win mid Cerebro Mystique. I don't know. Uh, how has Dazzler felt so far? She seems pretty insane in Ultron Swarm decks. Um, well, it's been okay, I would say. Oh, I think we beat Fantastic Cerebro. Don't we? No, 22 is big enough. No, we don't. We don't. 19 is not enough. Fantastic adding the two makes it as good as uh, Silver Surfer, I guess. Close though. Uh, I don't really understand the new card release model. You can only get them if you're lucky with your shop. Yeah, or if you have every card like I do. <laughs> well, I don't have Sentry, but basically that means he's he's always the card I get right before the shop refresh, and then it it, it always tries to re-roll into a new card, so then I get uh, the new card every time. I'll eventually get Sentry too. I'm just just not rushing through it. So I don't really care too much about Sentry to be honest. Okay, uh, debris is chill. Let's spread out these stats a little. Although we do want Ant Man in a spot we think we're definitely filling. This might be mid. Might get a rock right. This is a good start to a nice little hand here. Oh. Zabu, we've got a lot of rocks in deck. I don't I don't think this is gonna be a Zabu sort of game, right? I think it's gonna be a K-Zabu Marvel sort of game. Okay, an extra rock for them. That's nice. Rats on your rock, idiot. <laughs> it's so hostile. Uh, we're definitely not gonna get a Dazzler this game, so we just need to think about how we're gonna win, right? That's the... What's the right way to win? Oh, we gave them a blue marvel. Oh, Ultron's a good way to win. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go big mid then and go big left. Although they do have a lead left, so maybe we go big right here instead. Yeah, it's better. We're already behind left, so. Let's try to win right and mid in this case. Nightcrawler does mean they can add quite a bit more power mid, but... I'm assuming they're just gonna play a blue marvel here. I don't know where they're gonna put it, but probably mid. Which is good. Blue marvel himself is pretty small at any given location. So, uh, this doesn't feel good, but it's worth a shot. Assuming Nightcrawler moves out, but can they get big enough to take right? We can actually snipe left if they don't do anything left, right? We're adding uh, four power left, so. No, 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 six power left. They got Kazar. So, I mean, we're 
we're definitely got a chance here. We're contesting across all three lanes. I think they're gonna move Nightcrawler left and then try to play something mid to take mid, but I don't know what it would be. Like a leader into an Ultron would be decent, I guess. Cool, good win. Have you come up with an enticing title for this YouTube video? No, do you have a good one? It's... <laughs> Re just gets corn cobbed by Dazzler, I think is the name. I gotta make sure I keep that corn cob game in the video so that all these future references to the corn cob aren't lost. <laughs> Otherwise, there's gonna be some really confused viewers. Why does he keep talking about corn cobs? This guy has a weird corn cob fetish. What's his deal? <laughs> People joining the stream now are thinking the same thing. Why does he have corn? Why Why does he keep talking about corn cobs? It's freaking weird. Uh, Double Blue Marvels. It's interesting. It's no Dazzler, but it's something. Might be okay. Sunspot Lockjaw. Magneto. That's big. That's going to be hard to beat. Oh, Dazzler for two. Oh, do we like that? I mean, double blue Marvel is really just not. I mean, we do have double squirrel. Well, no, we'll have a single squirrel girl. So if I went blue Marvel, blue Marvel, squirrel girl. It's really not making us big enough, right? I don't really like that as much as Dazzler, but can I even can I even make the Dazzler full here? We're going to have one here. I'll need to put three cards here. I mean, definitely with double Squirrel Girl, you can, but is that a winning line? Doesn't feel like it to me, because we're never going to win right. I don't know. I just want to play Dazzler, so screw it. If we can if we can get the Dazzler big enough mid and then get something cool left, I mean, there's a shot, but how do we even beat a Vision left, right? That's already too big. That fills these up. I could go... And I'm one card off from, from doing this the way I want with the blue marvel, but obviously we can't do that. But if I don't, my turn is just such garbage. There's no way this is enough to win left. They, they just moved the vision over and I, <laughs> I lose left, right? <laughs> I guess it's better to have Squirrel Girl, really. But th this is just not a winning line, ever. Not ever in a hundred years. I mean, one could arguably say the debris is better left. Do something like this, I guess. If we think the Dazzler power here's enough. But this is still only six left. It still doesn't beat Vision. It still loses. Oh, Vision went right. Oh, but they did have a lot of power left. Yeah. Okay. They're stranding where I have power, which is smart. Boy, oh boy, six power. You got it, guys. Good job, team. Good job, team. You should definitely retreat that game. If it wasn't clear from my uh, dwindling uh, confidence and sanity there where I just said we can't win, it's impossible to win. I forget to remind you guys sometimes. I'm just playing games out because I'm on stream. Not nah, you, you should never play these out in real life. But on stream, you know, we have the luxury. Number one, I'm at the rank floor, so who cares? And number two, I want you guys to see the end of games. It's re it's more rewarding of a viewer experience to see the end of games. But um, my retreat rate is normally north of 20% when I'm actually trying to play. So you will not see me retreating 20% of games on stream. You see me retreating like 2%. <laughs> it's quite dramatic fall off. All right, uh, Shuri's lab is going to swap out, so we'll get room there again later. We should play everything there until Starlight Citadel. Might move left and we lose space, but that's okay. Moon Girl here really doesn't feel very good. Zabu, same story though. Double Blue Marvel's not really relevant. I mean, I guess we could, if we top decked really specifically, Zabu would be a little bit better. For like a turn six, because I could go Blue Marvel on five, turn six, just play some four drops, Kzar Dazzler or something. 
That's an Ultron. Okay, so that's no longer a surprise, but also they just have an Ultron. Could be quite large. Citadel goes left. Okay, so we can move Nightcrawler out to make space here. That's not a problem. Okay, I like the blue Marvel Kazar now. That's a little more interesting. Even with just the Squirrel Girl, that's okay. Oh, that is not... I, I'm stupid. I, I did not pay attention. I thought this was Shuri's lab. I'm stupid. Who wants to go right? Of course. Um, ah, they're revealing first. That's tough. They knew I was going to misplay. They were like, no, not, 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 no. Or you just, no. Am I really one... One playoff here from, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Here, I'm not, I'm not. Uh, this fills up the, so this makes us really big right, but do we need to be that big right? Do I prefer to get a little bigger mid? This is the most total power, but is it in the right places? Yeah, I don't know. This is where they're going to add power to potentially. They may not so they may not expect this much power dump coming in. By the way, the Zabu line is exactly what we talked about, right? That's kind of crazy. Squirrel girl getting doubled is funny. Uh, but I think I think we want the zero here and the ones here for the record, or the threes, whatever they are. But you know what I mean. Maximus is very big. Are we beating that? We are, right? We're beating Maximus. We're beating left, though. Losing a lot. We're adding three left. Oh, we're adding more than three left. Getting the squirrel, too. I forgot that those are getting buffed. The ninja even gets buffed. This is perfect. We're going to win all three lanes, dude. Great game. Perfect. Also, look how interesting this math is. You see this? We won by two and by four and by eight. And they went from five to 15 to 20. All these numbers are just quite pleasing. I love it. Yeah, Dazzler got big, dude. Great game. Yeah, the Zabu created that opportunity, right? Like identifying the potential Zabu top decks really helped us that was nice if we hadn't played that zabu if we'd gone for the other line this game would have gone much much worse all right guys i'm gonna call it quits there that was actually a great game to finish on we're almost level 100 on the pass which is fun over level 13,000, by the way wow dang i didn't even realize do i have enough to get that reserve that'd be a fun way to end the stream no really how do i not have enough to win Okay, hold up. Uh, we're gonna real quick get. We're gonna real quick get that, and then we're gonna we're gonna level up. We're just gonna get that real quick. We're gonna win a location with one card, then retreat. You can retreat after turn four, right? To get the uh, to get the quest done, I think. Used to you could do it any time, and then I think they changed it, right? But now it has to be turn four. Buddy, confirm for me, please. Can you do it after the first turn still? I thought they changed it. I thought you had to go to turn four now. You don't seem to know either. Yeah, because <laughs> we're in the same boat. Yeah. <laughs> we're the same raft, if you will. <laughs> All right. Uh let's just let's just get a red skull right asap here and then we should be fine uh maybe they won't even play anything here we'll just shang chi it's fine don't play right don't play right and then we'll retreat so you're making it sound like it doesn't even have to be turn four maybe okay but I think turn four is safe either way. Escaped. Let's see. Yeah, it used to you could just do it on turn one. It was glorious. Yeah, okay. All right, so that'll be enough to level up a few commons and then I can open that last reserve for you guys and we're gonna get the final card I need in the game, which is Sentry. 
Pixel Electro. So I can actually do the green just to be fast here, that's fine. And then we're gonna open Sentry in this reserve. This reserve is definitely Sentry. That's not enough to get to the next reserve. So I'm gonna call it quits, guys. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Let me uh, send you all on your merry way on a raid real quick. And uh, I will see you all in the near future sometime. Stay tuned for a YouTube video on this, uh, on this deck uh, later tonight, by the way. And uh, yeah, so enjoy the raid. Stay tuned for videos. I'm probably, I was thinking about streaming again tonight for the featured location, but I'll probably just do that off stream. I don't know if I want to load up a whole nother stream just to play the featured location for a couple hours, but I might, we'll see how I feel and stuff, but I'll probably do it off stream. It's usually just easier, but I want to get a video for the featured location tonight as well. So have fun out there, everybody. Enjoy this raid. Uh, be sure to tell them, uh, enjoy the corn cob or something. I don't know. Memes. Ha ha ha. Funny, funny. Uh, etc. Good luck out there in the universe. May you open mini series fives. Thank you for watching, and until next time, game on.